It's been kind of a tough decision. Good morning. I wasn't planning on starting the vlog now, but I just had to tell you what's been going on. Pia and I just went to go to the workshop to check on our ring stands, our Gaia ring stands, which are launching this week. So we just went to check, everything's all good. Quality control is done, packaging is done, everything's good. I always do like little um, handwritten notes with the orders and I went to drop those off as well. Great. So that was, yeah, that was a random tangent there, just so you to tell you where, where <laughs> we're in because we're obviously in the car. Anyway, what we were saying was, you know when you get a parcel delivered and since COVID, they basically changed the laws. Like they used to basically get you to sign for it, but now it's like you, you don't want to give someone a pen and like make them sign it on your pen and on the mach share machines and whatever. And now, hold on, we're going over a cafe. Oh, I knew that would happen. Um, and now... And they leave it by your door. Like yeah. they have to put it down. Yeah, now they have to put it down and take a picture of it by your door, but with your door open. Yeah. And it's like that awkward moment where like all you want to do is rip open your parcel and like put on your new clothes <laughs> or whatever the hell you ordered. Like even if it's Amazon. Like the other day I ordered a new toothbrush and like all I wanted to do was go brush my teeth and they're like waiting by his like, oh sorry, my app's frozen. Like can you just I need your door to be open and you to be holding the parcel, not the parcel on the door. By the time you've like done all that faff, you're like, I just wanna be in my new clothes. It's like when you're um like six years old and you get those Christmas presents and yeah. everyone else is opening them really neatly like oh I'm undoing the bow <laughs> and then I'm unfolding the wrapping and, and like, I'm oh. literally like no yeah. <laughs> open <laughs> oh god it's literally so funny and like literally the other day I saw this um I saw this TikTok about it and it was like sorry can I just take a picture of you with your parcel and then it like pans back to the girl and she's like standing by her door in like a full gown and her new outfit like posing <laughs> with like the empty bag and I was like it's so true that's all you want to do. Anyway we're going back to the house now. Are these the faces of two Pomeranians that just chased the postman down the road? Yeah? Look at your wagging tail. Was it very exciting chasing the postman? Little squabbling brothers. I'm not amused at these guys. Not amused. Not amused. The poor postman. Like he was just bringing my far fetch order, wasn't he? And then these two were like, woohoo! And they chase him down the road. They always chase people down the road. <laughs> so mean. And they, I don't know why, like Duke's never done that, but they just kind of egg each other on to just like both be really naughty together. Anyway. I just got a far fetch order that just came and I'm so excited for spring things. This top is actually the only top I've bought that's like springy. So I went on far fetch and I bought quite a few of these. By the way, these were what I was talking about in the car. If you haven't seen them yet, these are the Gaia crystal ring stands for Raimi. They're launching this week. They're launching on the 7th and I'm afraid we don't have a lot of them. So make sure you go and sign up for early access. So there's the amethyst, there's jade, and there's the rose quartz as well. Beautiful, beautiful crystals. And they hold your rings. You can stack your rings on them as well. I don't think any of us quite realized how popular these would be. So make sure you go and sign up for our VIP early access list. You'll get access to our newsletter and to most things. And all you have to do is put in your email. We're doing a, I think it's a 12 hour early access this time so that everyone on our VIP list gets like enough time to be able to shop. And we're doing it in the evening. We're doing it at 9 p.m. UK time so that it's fully fair for everyone like all over the world as much as we possibly could. Guys, look how many. One, two, three. Oh, I, I maybe open this one. Four. Five. Oh, I opened that too. I put them all in this bag so that I wouldn't forget anything I want to show you. Six. So I went shopping on Farfetch um, because first there was actually this top that I really, really wanted. When you see it, oh my goodness, you'll never love a top more in your life because... <sighs> I mean, it's stunning. Just wait till I show you. I went on to Farfetch, which you guys know I love, and I'm so grateful to work with Farfetch so much. They are one of my favorite premium shopping destinations, and they basically work with retailers all over the world. 
They basically work with retailers all over the world to allow us to shop from anywhere and everywhere. So all my parcels come from somewhere different and it's super easy to shop. For example, this is an Australian brand that I love. In this DHL bag, I didn't pay import in, on it. Imports included. And it means that I get to shop so many different boutiques from around the world. I'm so sorry about the dogs. They are such rascals. I don't, I don't really have an excuse for their behavior, to be honest. It would not be an Amelia Leanna Farfetch haul without a Farfetch discount code. So I have my 10% off Farfetch right now. Guys, I'm trying to tell them about a really important discount code. Do you mind? Do you mind? Thank you, let's just bring the energy down. Bring the energy down. Yeah, you're sorry, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, let's bring the energy down, right. As I was saying, I have a discount code for Farfetch, which will get you 10% off. There are T's and C's, which I'll link down below. The code is Amelia10YT. So some of these pieces, actually, I think all of these pieces you can get with 10% off. 10% off goes a blooming long way. Now what shall we start with? First, we're gonna open the shoes because these shoes, I know this is the shoes because I already seen me open them, but I haven't actually seen the shoes. I just wanted to check what, what I thought it was. These were coming from the UK. As you guys know, I'm big, big on summer sneakers and I wanted a new pair that kind of had a tie-in with my favorite color. I saw these on Farfetch, obviously. <laughs> I'm just so excited for spring clothes, spring outfits, spring dresses, like spring, 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 spring. I don't know where I'm gonna be yet for, for the majority of spring. I have a feeling I'll be in London. I find out more this week. But either way, I know that I'll get a lot of use out of out of these, whether I'm in of these, whether I'm in. Bro, what is up with your mood today? Just chill, 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 chill. Either way, I know I'll get a lot of use out of these, whether I'm in. Oh, they're beautiful. Whether I'm in London or here in the country. So, ooh, look how pretty these are. I've never tried these sneakers before. These are the Veja sneakers, and they have a little bit of sage in them. Now, I have seen they do a multicolored, like, pastel one which I also loved. I'll link that one down below too. By the way, everything I'm showing you, links will be down below, but I just love the sage in this. With this outfit, these would really work. I'm gonna try all this on and give you a proper, proper run through, hey? You know what I like about these is that these are off white. Sometimes I find the white trainer thing kind of a bit stark, but these, these look great. They kind of, they do look a bit white on the camera, but they are more of an off white cream now you can kind of see them a bit better how cream they are these are fabulous i love the green super super comfortable these are a keep for sure what is in here let's see where this one came from oh this one came from the us by the way farfetch comes so quickly best shipping best returns everything's on the app okay this is it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing now in terms of a top. Because I've been wearing this top so much because it's my new spring top, I wanted to get something kind of in the same category, I suppose. Something that I could just wear with baggy jeans. Oh, I got a new pair of jeans as well. And this looks so pretty. As you guys know, I love blue, blue and yellow. And I love ruching, ruching for spring. Ruching, florals. Like we're just, we're here, root, puffy sleeves. Like what more could you want? with your day, you know? This is the, exactly the kind of top I wanted, something really simple, still kind of makes me look springy, like I care about the seasons put together, but just like easy to throw on with jeans and trainers. Love the little details of the sleeves. Ruching I always find really flattering, especially when you pair it with baggy, oversized, kind of like whatever jeans. I just feel like this is a really cool look. You kind of look like, I don't know, I feel like this is my personality, like really girly, but then also like kind of laid back. Like that's the kind of vibe we're going for here. Also with the trainers, I think that works super, super well. I'm into this top. You know what? I've got a really good feeling about this whole. This little guy's come from the UK. <gasps> this is the top. This is the top. I got the matching skirt too. Are you ready? Are you ready for the top? of tops she's beautiful she's beauty and she's grace she's miss united states she's beauty and she's grace she's queen of this 
Wow. Oh my gosh. So Charo Ruiz Ibiza. I've ordered from them before and I found they fit a little funny on the dresses. But I saw this two piece and I thought let's just give it a go because I've never seen anything more beautiful and spring like. The florals are just kind of growing up the sleeve. And when I show you the skirt, the florals just kind of like grow down you. I just fell in love with this collection from them. There are so many different pieces. There's also a little mini dress, a mini skirt. I liked the long skirt and the little crop top. Oh my goodness me, this top. I've kept my jeans on with it before I show you the skirt, just in case anyone wants more of a paired back look and doesn't want to go full girly oh my i am obsessed like you know what else i didn't notice is that the neckline isn't a straight square it almost comes in which i just think is so detailed and beautiful you've got the little ruching here oh my gosh it's amazing so flattering so beautiful so detailed oh holy smoke show at this look wow it's so pretty oh my gosh so there's two different skirts that matches with this top in this collection one has two little slits on either side and one has buttons running down the front i got the one with the slits i think i'm going to keep this one but i'll link both of them down below so just to be aware i've really done my research on this collection so if you kind of prefer that look with buttons down the front then go for that one but oh my gosh this top is just like this outfit is just so floral me and it's so pretty and i also saw when i was browsing around there's always like a great what you might like section always gets me isn't it it's like the aisles when you're um when you're checking out like boots or sephora or something and it, there's the aisles of like mini products next to you always gets you they know what they're doing this was from peony which i have a swimsuit of theirs before but i just loved the way it was constructed it's a really beautifully constructed one shoulder white top another one that i just thought would work so well with jeans and even with my trainers or with heels as well i'll try that on as well let's try this little guy on you know what i realized all my outfit videos i'm always changing off camera but like worst case you see my bra do you know what i mean like you see me in a bikini in the summer it's kind of the same thing it doesn't really make that much sense Right, what do we think? Let me tuck this in. I'm just gonna, for, for ease, just tuck that bra strap in there, there we go. Oh mama, this is a whopper spring haul. God, I come alive in spring, don't I? Holy moly. Elegant meets judge. Does this remind you of a judge? And you know, like a judge's um, wig that they wear. Is it kind of running out? Is just me? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> However, I love it. I feel like, actually, I love it even more with these jeans. I feel like it's such a laid back, cool vibe. I just wanted to pair it with a little bag so we get a better idea of the vibe, which I think is a huge, huge vibe, to be honest, huge. Oh, I'm getting so excited for spring, like finally, guys, finally, spring is here. Spring just means happier days, sunnier days, warmer days livelier days those are just all the days this came from italy the land of pizza and pasta so these jeans that i've wear, worn pretty much exclusively for the past like three months the ones i'm wearing now are the page noella jeans they don't do them anymore sadly you can find a few sizes random colors here and there online so i went with my stories and asked what are the most similar jeans now a couple came up Riley ad by Ad Goldie and the most people said Levi 501 which is what I ordered so I'm going to give this a go because I just I need another pair of these I feel like that my favorite pair of jeans is just have these off and like what if I don't know the other day I knelt down oh you can still kind of see the stain I knelt down and I knelt down on the grass outside in Leo's poo yeah let's just talking about you and your poo outside it's lovely it smells so great you have lovely smelling poo you also have a nice smelling poo right I've tried on these jeans what do we think in comparison to the jeans I normally wear on first glance what I love is how they're not straight 
can you see that little curve that you get there super super flattering hmm i'm not too sure once we go below there i feel like they're a bit too baggy around the leg and thigh area on me but that could be because i have no ass quite literally a pancake bottom so that could be why they just look a bit like unfitted on me but then we go a bit lower i'm just not sure i'm not sure i also think the crotch comes down too low on me like my vagina's there and the crotch is there i'm not sure you know let me know what you think down below i think if i folded them roll them up a touch they could look a bit better so let me know what you think i've tucked in the tags so we can get a better look but you know what, now I've done that, I feel like they look quite nice. They're not exactly the same as my page ones, but I like them for what they are. I don't know, I think I like them. What do you think? What do we think? Yes, no, maybe? Let me know your thoughts. This is coming from the UK. This was a dress that I wore so much last summer in cream, and then I saw it on Farfetch in black, and I thought, for day to night outfits, this would work really well. It's from Love Shack Fancy, which is a beautiful, beautiful brand. I love their clothes, super girly, but I thought because it's black, it's almost a bit less girly, which I kind of liked. This is the little Love Shack Fancy dress. This would be exactly how I would wear it, I think, with like a really cool oversized tote like this YSL one, which I'll also link down below because I think Farfetch have a few different colors. And then actually the white trainers on the bottom, which I think would look really cool. I feel like I'm really, really happy with this outfit altogether. I feel like it looks really good. If you look at the detail on this little dress, I think I would need a black bra with it, but I actually kind of like the blue peeping through. You can see all the little details that it has. This waistband is what you want to look at when you're buying a kind of dress like this, which is what the belt is gonna do for my blue Venroy dress. It just brings your waist in a little bit and acts really in a really, really flattering way and also elongates your legs at the same time. And then we've got the little double skirt ruching, which I always find really flattering on um, Love Shack fancy dresses. This came all the way from Australia. So fast, so, so, so fast. Now I saw a belt and I ordered the belt this morning. Now, Farfetch comes fast, but they don't come that fast. Well, actually they do. They do do same day and 90 minute delivery, but this belt is coming from like, I don't know, I don't know where the belt's coming from. Let's show The belt's coming from the US, so don't think I'm gonna get that same day. However, I will get that soon, and that I got to pair with this, but I only ordered that today when I was looking through my spring wardrobe. This is from a brand I loved wearing last year called Venroy, an Australian brand. I love Australian brands. Please pop me your favorite Australian brands down below because my favorite way to shop brands from overseas that I can't get a hold of here is through Farfetch because it's just so easy. This is literally a maxi plain, beautiful, beautiful color. Like this is the most perfect shade of blue linen dress and i thought with this belt that i've got which is like a ro woven raffia belt oh i like my picnic basket oh, oh. this dress is one of the best shades of blue i've ever seen definitely definitely needs a belt though i just find the shape sorry also needs a steam but i find the shape around the mid region just like a bit bleh. imagine it with my little raffia belt i'm gonna put a picture in i'll put a picture like right here <laughs> And then we can imagine it, but I think that would look so great. If you're looking for really, really simple, classic linen pieces that will just see you through years and years and years, look at this brand because they do such beautiful pieces. Look at the like details, just really, really simple, subtle details. And it is so gorgeous. Got a little slit in there as well. So like I said, Amelia 10YT for 10% off Farfetch. All the links will be down below. And I hope you like this haul. By the way, these are the jeans I'm wearing today. So you can see how they compare to the Levi's ones. And also my slippers. I actually got these from Farfetch recently, all the way from Australia. So I'm gonna link these down below too because I've worn them so much. They're so comfy and so warm, even when I have my little toesies out. Come on. Ah! Lunchtime, lunchtime babies. 
all the pretty flowers are here. Salad, rice, soup, yummy. We got soup and rice and salad. Oh my God, look at these stuffed tomatoes. Why does cheese on top of everything look amazing? I have seen that dairy milk, Cadbury's, have been working with people for Easter. I'm highly offended as their biggest fan. I won't take it too personally. I'll, I'll still support them and eat them, but you know, this is my favorite for now. I go through phases. Right now it's whole nut. Pierre and I are having a serious debate. <laughs> Do we now? <laughs> Do we now finish? We, we've just eaten this in about 10 seconds, just the two of us. <laughs> Do we now finish these last three squares or feel really thin? And then good about ourselves. <laughs> Three squares. To be polite, we'll yeah. give some. Yeah, we did really well there. <laughs> yeah, but if I... As much as the dogs piss me off, I have to say that I way prefer it when I have them in my bedroom with me because otherwise, otherwise I miss you too much. And I just like, I need these little noises in the background. I feel like I hear them when they're not there. Like I, I'm that crazy dog man that just like hears the dogs like growling or grunting or whatever, like that. I can't be without them. The rooms, especially Hermione, the room I'm in, Hermione feels so empty without Duke in, without any dogs because it's such a big bedroom. Not used to such a big bedroom. Who did that? Who did that? That's a Duke thing, but it's also more of a Leo thing now. It was like Duke when he was a puppy. Definitely a Leoism. Leo's the naughtier one for sure. I brought these babies into the light so you could see them a bit better. This is the amethyst. What I love about the amethyst actually is that she has so many different colors within her. You can really see the crystal element in the amethyst and every amethyst looks so different. This is Jade. This is my personal favorite. If you have a friend that's engaged or just got married, has an engagement ring, this looks the best with an engagement ring. It's so beautiful. And then this is rose quartz. You can kind of see all the details on the rose quartz, which is incredible. A lot of my friends have been sleeping with these under their pillows, which I find so sweet for their energies. So all the crystals have different meanings. Jade is for good health, luck, because green is the color of luck and strength. Rose quartz is love, healing, and optimism. Amethyst is a really intuitive stone, so it's for balance, protection, and intuition. So I'll leave the VIP early access link down below for you for Tuesday. Pierre and I have just been filming a skincare reel for Lumine. My skin is looking so glowing. I'm using such a great combination of stuff at the moment, which is just great. And I feel like hopefully we're gonna pull this reel off and it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be cool. I'll let you know, we're doing the last clip now. So soon I might be back in London, which is kind of crazy to think. I still have my place in London. A lot of you asked that. And it's been kind of a tough decision because I've just learned through COVID to not focus on the future and I'm such a future planner so that is so hard for me to just live in the here and now and not plan the next like not even months like I was gonna say years but like we're talking not even weeks not even months ahead is kind of crazy and given the recent announcements we are thinking about going back to London so it's been kind of a tough decision because I've got so used to life in the country and kind of almost like being a bit isolated from people here having a much like different pace of life like I really don't unless I get in my car which is so rare I really don't see cars on the streets in London even if I walk my dog at night I'll say hi to my neighbors I'll bump into people like even if I go for a walk in the park like here I'm so isolated that you've become really like more hermity than normal. So if I'm gonna compare like London life and country life, that I would say is the biggest difference for me, just the general contact day to day. At the moment, that's been kind of nice. And even for me, like I do have more contact because of work, like this week I had a shoot and stuff. So I was seeing people there, but I mean like general living day to day. I will say not being around a hustle and bustle vibe is so calming. 
like it is crazy and it does make me think like oh i wonder if i could move to the country i d i don't know i really don't know i feel like right now i have the best of both because i know that i'm going back to london at some point so i do want to maximize my time here so that's what makes the decision kind of tough because i know it's so short term anyway in about a week in london everything's opening up which is amazing like i saw this weekend primrose hill people were doing water slides i'm gonna put in a video it was crazy like i screen recorded my friend's stories because i was so baffled like every like so many being around so many people i don't know if anyone else feels like this i do feel like also because i'm not doing anything in the evenings even in london i'd like find stuff to do in the evenings like sort or tidy or like even when you're not allowed to like see people i'd still find stuff to do but here in the evenings i feel like i have a much more mellow evening which definitely 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 has helped me sleep much better i don't think i could move to the country if i lived by myself like that would be a bit too isolated for me um i feel like because i'm with my family here it's kind of it's like i'm with people whereas if i'm by myself in the country then i'd be like really that would just be a bit too much too much hermiting for me even for me but the thought of going back to london and going to a restaurant and being social going back for spring like seeing the magnolias that's so exciting so i'm i'm honestly so conflicted i'm so conflicted inside i, I don't know what to think and it is so weird for someone like me who's such a planner such a planner to just not even know like what the next week month looks like i feel like we all feel like a bit of that right now don't we we're all just kind of like what does life look like even a month from now we i don't know i don't know anyway i've changed about eight times today i've taken off all my skin makeup but what do we think of my shorter nails as well by the way this is my nail color right now se mother of fiction this polish is so good it's like gels it lasts so long make sure you are signed up for the ring stands early access on the VIP list, Raimi.com. I will leave a link down below for you to go and sign up before Tuesday night is when the early access starts. Tuesday night, 9 p.m. GMT. Make sure you're on the list. Big week ahead. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Having a wonderful Easter bank holiday weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.